Hello guys, it's Ejeon again, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to explain how to remove the eye bags when you are retouching a portrait professionally in Photoshop. I've been seeing a lot of uh, techniques uh, that uh, tend to use a lot of blur or caution blur, which is a smart filter, but it doesn't really blend in with the retouching process that you're doing. So long story short, uh, what you have to do is just go to the layer panel, and then just duplicate the background layer because you don't want to be working on the original background so you have to create a copy and then they just name it this one like working layer and as you can see now we have two so what we need to do is convert this layer to smart filter layer so all you have to do is just make sure it's selected go to filter and then click convert for smart filters and then just click OK. Then you have to go to filter, go to other, click high pass, and choose a value when where you are able to see the eye bags. For example, somewhere between three and four can work pretty well. So I'm choosing 3.5 and just click OK. So the next step is to change the blending mode of the working layer from normal to overlay and then just click enter now what you have to do is between the working layer and the background layer you have to create just a empty layer and then just put it in the middle and name this layer one to retouching underline i the next step is that we need to clip mask this working layer to the retouching layer so all you have to do is just hold alt or option if you're on a Mac and then just click the line in between the working layer and the retouching layer so like this as you can see a bit of sharpness is removed so going back to the original uh, sharpness that we had because of the overlay effect but now we're clipping uh, to this retouching layer and then so we are going to work on this one make sure it's selected click the eyedropper tool by holding or pressing I on the keyboard and make sure that before you start the sample size of the eyedropper tool is 5 by 5 average and then the sample is current and below so this is one of the techniques that I use for myself when uh, I try to remove the eye bags and 90% it works really really well all you have to do now is just click somewhere where the skin is a bit bright so let's just say randomly I'm gonna click here and now what you have to do is just click B, which stands for brush. Make sure that the flow of the brush, now this is very important, is at 5% or lower. And fix the brush size by right click and then just make sure the hardness is completely zero. And the size of the brush is up to your desire. And then just gently start painting on the eye. As you can see, it's working pretty well. And when you zoom out, as you can see, the eye bag is removed. Now, if you want to see it before and after, I'm going to group these for you and then just going to before, after, before, after. And when you zoom in, you can see that we still have the skin texture available. So if these techniques help you, please use them. It uh, really boosts your retouching process. And as you can see, it's very fast. So again, thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next tutorial.